Yeah, I guess if you're using, if you're doing damage boost, then yeah, you'd have to like be timing your uh, your button presses perfectly on the doors that, that give health back. I remember the last time I played it, which was on one of the, the roulette extravaganzas. I had like a, a really hard time getting the life up from those doors. I thought I, at one point I thought I had the timing down on that shit, but that night was not good. Or I have to move down a little bit. Gotta find the sweet spot. The other thing I've wondered about in regards to uh, in regards to speedruns is that you know there's like two win poses every character has when you clear a stage. But it's random which one you get. If you get the pose where uh, Milky like stretches out and then bends over and does the thumbs up, that takes longer than just the uh, doing the thumbs up. RNG in the wind poses. Shit. I was gonna let that guy fall to the ground and then try to, to get health off him. But I took, uh, I took damage trying to get health. And I got no health. pick up on the next stage anyway. Whoa! The bomb almost hit. Yeah, okay. That wind pose where she spins and does the thumbs up, yeah. It's way faster than when she stretches her arms up and then bends over and gives the thumbs up. But I don't know what determines which win, which win pose. It's kind of dangerous. That's what it's death. Flamethrower, no! Fuck, I lost the time there. Blame the fucking flamethrower. Give me that bolt. Save about four rockets for the, the turrets on stage three. So just go through Milky's bombs first. Wait, she has three wind poses. Cause she just did the thumbs up there. She didn't spin into a thumbs up. Why did I think there were only two? <laughs> Even more RNG. Maybe a stage or something. Well, I don't think it is. Ah! 
See, that would be huge if I could get a special weapon there. Just take these things out. Spawn that guy on the left. Ten seconds on that stage. All right, the turrets. <laughs> oh yeah, that strategy I was all planning for. Duh. Strange guy, Peter. I still gained a few seconds. Alright, so... If there's two bomb pickups, I can at least, like, use some rockets with Marie here. That was bad. Oh, I was already... 
moved up as far as I can. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think I hit a strong problem. Doing knife stabs, but they're not hitting. Okay. But how did I gain 10 more seconds? What the fuck? Holy shit. What did I do differently there that made me gain 10 seconds? Like, I know what I did on stage 3, but... Right, I was supposed to switch. Although I think these guys are showing up anyway. They have time. Might not be a big time for us. Ooh, and then it ran out of the worst possible. Better bomb uses? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Some tasty looking splits.
somewhere I want to be health wise here. But... Took those fuckers out pretty fast though. Holy shit. I couldn't get the quick switch off to, to Marie though because I didn't expect that to actually hit all three of them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think I can really go ham with the melee attacks because I don't have much health or health to survive this. I can take one more hit. I still gained like 3.9 seconds there. What the fuck? <laughs> My first. My first time of the night like, wasn't even like sub 17. So what, I've gained like a full minute <laughs> since I've started this stream? That's pretty good. Oh god. My old YouTube video from like a few years ago, that's probably the closest you'll see to a, a Super Spy speedrun. It could still probably be, do be done faster. Because I did remember there was, was like one point where I started kind of farming experience on one of the easy stages. Like I went to like floor 8 or floor 9 just to get some experience. Get up to 30,000 experience like at level 7. Yeah. Just to make like the next section easier because like the enemies were so easy to kill there. I was like, oh, I might as well just kill easy enemies here just to... Just as insurance, because that was, you know, the first run I'd had that had gone that far, and I wanted to be able to once they see it. No, wait, that wasn't the first run that went that far. I remember getting... I think I was on 14th floor, and then I lost it. Yep, Turts, I've done all three main routes. Technically, there's nine routes through this game, because you can switch routes at the halfway point. So if you wanted to get technical, there's, you know... Jungle, jungle, valley, valley, mountain, mountain. And then there's like jungle, valley, jungle, mountain, valley, jungle, valley, mountain, valley. Or mountain, jungle, mountain, valley. But I don't think it's really worth creating like separate splits for those other routes where you have to uh, just switch, switch routes in between because you do have to play an extra stage. There's a stage on a train. It goes pretty fast. But you do have to fight some of the red jetpack guys, and they're always assholes. And then you have to, uh, you have to fight one of the human bosses. I don't even know how, like, how long that level would take as a speedrun. It'd be like a little over a minute, I think. I think it's best to just leave this as, like, three separate main routes. I don't know, just my opinion. Ha, 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 ha. 